And as we mentioned at the top, Harvey displaced and forced entire communities to uproot. But the start of a new school year, even a week late, is bringing a sense of normalcy to some people. But in school districts like Gregory Portland, there are going to be lots of new faces. Reminders that this school year is far from normal. Here's our Priscilla, Priscilla Torres, that is, with more on that. A line of parents with their children in tow forms inside a hallway at the GPISD administration building. I am very looking forward to, to meet some new friends. And while Landon Roberts is eager to start the first grade, some parents are a little uneasy. Finding clothes and getting help. We lost our whole home, so it wasn't very easy making this decision. But we got to do what we got to do for now. Schools like East Cliff Elementary are just one of the many schools ready to take in students affected by Hurricane Harvey. And according to Gregory Portland, they expect to take in about 500 students. Children from five school districts closed indefinitely are ready to get back to a routine. I'm enrolling my kiddos um, to get them a place to continue their schooling and so that that will allow me time to try to focus on what I need to do to get my campus ready to receive our kids. A parent herself, Rose Tran, is also a principal at one of the displaced school districts. While Tran and her teachers aren't able to be at their home school, they spent the first day of school at GPISD reassuring their students everything will be be okay. Oh, I think it's vital because we're in the we're in the business of kids, and so taking care of kids is what we do. And wish them a good year until their schools can reopen. That I miss them. Uh, can't wait. To... Priscilla Torres, Chris, Six News. Now the GP2 superintendent tells us that they are working with other school districts should overcrowding become an issue. When we cap out, we will have to call on them to send their teachers so that we can create additional classrooms uh, for them to uh, help us spread the load as evenly as possible across the district. And Dr. Clore says they will also hire displaced teachers if the district needs more instructors. 